San Jose Taiko was um, started it, in the San Jose Buddhist temple. And so there was this immediate connection for everything that was of celebration with the Buddhist temple. And of course, that's where we started. And, and of course, we were involved with uh, Obon. Our first Obon was in San Jose in 1974. So this is the summer after we started. It's actually a big part, I feel, of our mission of what San Jose Taiko is about. Uh, being able to help provide something that will encourage people to come to see what that other organization or that other festival is all about besides what we're doing. To really understand and appreciate how to play taiko, I feel that playing at Obon is a big part of that because it's that feeling, that energy, that spirit that comes out of that, that occasion and that situation is, um, is what you really learn on how to really play your instrument even better as a taiko player. It's really about the crowd and the energy that we're getting from the audience. We're really, they're participating in it. They're, we see a lot of more smiles and you know, we can see their faces. We're outdoors. And... How Obon affects our overall performances is that, you know, it's really about heart. It's about energy when we play at San Jose Obon. And the challenge for us as San Jose Taiko members is how do we take that energy and that, that heart, that feeling, and translate it into performance that we play in a theater. They get to see you sweat out here a lot more and they get to see you make mistakes, but it doesn't matter. It's a lot more really about the community because even though we're playing for the audience, it's really about being with the audience, a part of the audience. Whereas a concert, it's really performing for them. They come to see you, they paid for you, so it's a little bit like a treat. And this is like the barriers are gone. as I was growing up was always a really a nice chance for me to kind of catch up and, and really reconnect with, with my roots. So doing the Obon festivals or the Akimatsudis or the Cherry Blossom festivals are Really for us, you know, a big part of uh, why we do things in Japantown is really to help bring the people back to Japantown. I also would like to encourage other generations of people to come and help in the regeneration of this culture of Obon. remembering those who have passed and um, just coming back together and having a good time. Like a remembrance and, and celebrating really their life. There is one piece that we uh, fully uh, participate in and is a part of the Obonodori menu and that's our Eijinaika. Uh, dance piece. And uh, for San Jose Taiko, this is a piece that we have made as public domain. Looking forward to creating new music 
new dances that uh, would reflect our experiences now. Many of the Obon pieces come from the 30s and 40s, but how do we create something that can also speak of who we are now? This is uh, a wonderful, wonderful way to actually merge community, uh, a Buddhist celebration, uh, bringing communities together, and people being able to dance just joyfully. Mm -hmm.